this content is not available in your country. Something that's very annoying to consumers. Languages are never confined to state borders. There's about 60 regional minority languages in Europe. That's 55 million people. For Erasmus or for another exchange abroad, and uh, how being there they couldn't access the online library of their university to write their master thesis. To, to some extent, these issues affect content creators. There are foregone opportunities because, I mean, they cannot trade cross border. I'm a big fan of uh, French cinema. I actually even uh, managed to subscribe to Canal Play, and then, of course, I was geoblocked. In some cases, you're still paying for it legally and using a VPN or proxy. Worst case scenario, people start actively pirating. So the new proposal for portability is going to allow you to take your Netflix account on vacation. That's a tiny step in the right direction. But it's not actually going to solve the problems of all the people who find themselves permanently on the wrong side of the border, such as linguistic minorities or language learners. The internet is a global medium and that Europe has dedicated itself to overcoming borders. Therefore, it's time that we get rid of geo-blocking once and for all. There are also a lot of uh, people in Brussels using VPNs. Then this could then potentially constitute an infringement of copyright. So everybody in Brussels is a pirate.